Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about how to build the structure specific the one in the center to make it more sun ray style. Are you ready? Let's get started. So I'm going to starting a straight line starting from the center and going for whatever how tall you want it to be. This is not really I'm going to print it out. Just want to show you the wave of making it so uh, the size is actually doesn't matter to me and i'm going to rotate and make sure copy equal yes i'm going to have 12 of them at the end for 360 degree so i'm going to divide it 360 into 24 and make a curve on the left and make a curve on the right 360 divided by 24 if you uh, don't have the calculator you can do something like that okay and we want to do the same thing 360 divided by 24 and that will be something like that so we need to create the space uh the shape in between those space so what i'm going to do next is draw a line here and snapping into the midpoint coming into the top and do the same here snapping into the midpoint coming to the top so then we got this shape here we don't need to have those two reference lines so we can delete it now if we pick up those two curves over here and you notice that you have control point is on so we're gonna pick up the cur the point not the curve and just moving this two up so you got something like this so to creating the surface i would like to have loft and i want to loft from here to here and then you get that surface i'm going to loft again from this curve to this curve so then I got this one. Uh, we can go ahead to join them together. Because we did the right calculation, if you pick up this one and you do polar array and snapping into the zero and we want to have 12 of them, you will have something like this. Okay, so that will be the first part. Now that, let's take a look on this view right here. The second part I want to create this area over here so the easiest way is i'm going to use an all snap make sure you're snapping into the endpoint and snapping into the endpoint so let me turn this into the red color then easier for you to see now with this one i'm going to use the mirror command and pick up this curve and mirror from this point to this point so next things we want to make a straight line snapping to the end point to the end point and to creating the surface we are going to use the loft we're gonna loft from here to here and also from here to here all right don't forget to join them and also let me turn them into other color it's easier for you to see so now i have that even though this is not exactly on our construction plan that's okay because we know there are 12 of them so let's go ahead to polar array again and we can do 12 of them so it become like this with a lot of facet if you take a render view then you got something like that and you can continue to build this one going up even more and getting bigger and bigger to create your own pattern i'm going to stop it here and show you how to get them into the solid let me join all of them together they should able to join because all the surface edges is actually touching perfectly all right so i'm going to use the commands duplicate border and I'm going to duplicate border of that one. As you can see, it's follow the H over there. And I'm going to go on the top view, use a command project to C plane and make sure that you want to delete the input. So now you can see they are completely flat. With that one, we are going to make it into the surface by extrude it straight. And then now we have this surface there. We are going to use that to trim off the surface on the top. So if we join rest of it together, then we will have this high over there. Now, if you feel like this is too fat, uh, what you can do is you can draw another line, go over on the bottom and simply just trim it on the bottom over here. So now if you look at the bottom, it look like a couple of blocks so to make it into the solid we are using the cap command then this one will be completely solid let's take a look on the render view so now you have a high all right so now 
this is the basic shape we can coming over there for the stone setting so i'm bringing one of the stone you want to know how to make this stone i have on the right top corner to show you uh, how to make the diamond video or you can download this stone for your practice the link is in the description below okay so for this stone i'm going to turn everything else off so it's easier for you to see first of all we need to make a uh, underseat bezel and i'm going to snap it into the vertex over here and bring it down just about like this one and for about this long as long as your cooler does not stick it out you will be fine and then uh, we do need to have a bevel edges so that's using the chamfer command and we want to chamfer this one for maybe 0.3 millimeter and let's pick up the edge inside and then so that is chamfer as you can see there's a chamfer there so it's a more friendly for your jeweler let's turn on this one and see this is kind of a little bit too low so i'm going to bring up just a little bit we don't actually need that long but we can trim it later with the prong together so I'm going to do is draw a straight line snapping into the zero and bring it down something like this and I also want to bring it over close to my stone so let's turn off everything so we can just deal in with this one also turn the stone into other color and we simply just need to pipe it this pipe this one so let's go ahead to use the pipe command and for something about this size make sure the pipe is rounded on the top and we want to move in just a little bit make sure you are not cutting too much of the prong the prong will break to make it look nice to fitting in this space i do like to have a uh, three prong instead of four prong so what i like to do is pick up this prong and i'm going to use the rotate command and copy equal yes i'm going to starting with here for the first one is 120 degree the second one is 260 degree so then we'll, i will get it perfectly like this now if you turn on what you have there and you like the result then you can bowling them but for the casting purpose this one is not touching so that way you won't have a good casting what i like to do is actually moving this down so they are actually touching and sometimes i'll intentionally make this slightly bigger just because i will have a better casting over there all right so now this is what we have i'm going to bowling all of this by bowling union and i also want to draw a box to cut out the rest of it and to be even on the bottom so i'm going to use the bowling difference this one out of the box so the bottom will be flat again we are going to use the polar array we know there's a number 12 over there so let's hit the center and then uh, number is 12 then we'll have all of them there once you add the jump ring you put the bell then it can be a pendant or it can be a earring write it down in the comment let me know what you think about this technique and thank you for watching i'll see you next